How do I mount my camera to my vehicle? Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing all right. My name's Matt, this is Dwyer Creatives, and today I wanna to go over how I mount my cameras to my vehicle or other vehicles, just to allow yourself to get some more creative angles for your filming. Now it is Two Minute Tuesday, and I know I'm notoriously bad for sticking to that two minutes. So right before we get started, if you are looking to purchase any of these items, I will leave affiliate links down below. Now there is no added cost for yourself, but it does help support the channel. So I do greatly appreciate if you do use those. I guess let's just go ahead and put two minutes on that clock and see what we can do. Starting off are gonna be these. These are magnetic mounts that just stick to your vehicle, as long as it's metal. Of course, because plastic's not metal. Now, this first one right here, I've been using for years. I know it works really well. It has an action cam mount right here, so I use this with my GoPros. For me, I use this specifically with capturing like that POV from the front end, I'll stick to my off-road bumper. Or if I want to capture some like suspension work, I'll go ahead and stick that in there. Now, recently, and recently is just kind of loosely used within a year or two. I picked this one up and the reason I like this one a little bit more, first off, it has a quarter 20 up top so I can use this with my pocket, which I do a lot of my filming with. And that means you can do that with other ones or just add the little adapter for an action cam. Now right here, if you turn this to loosen it up, it has a ball head style on top and allows you to do even a full 90 degrees. This one is made by Yolanzi, and this one, I'm not really sure, I'll just leave the link down below. Now going straight into a super lightweight one that is a suction cup, it's gonna be this one right here. Full transparency, this one was sent out to me, but I am gonna give my honest opinion about it. This is good for super lightweight things, and that's gonna be lightweight action cams or your phone, if you're willing to risk it. Now you have a suction cup here. All you have to do is go ahead and press that down to kind of lock it there. Now for me, something that I would advise you doing is keep these loose to adjust it, because when you do have that locked down, sometimes that gets in the way of locking the suction cup down. Now what I like about this one is it extends. Now saying that, if you have anything heavy on here, I would be a little hesitant, so just note that because of the longer reach, it does put additional forces on it. Now this did come with two different mounts. So you have the phone mount, which is on it. It also did come with this magnetic base for action cam. So I'm gonna press the button here, twist it, pops right out, magnetic right back in. Has a quarter 20 on the bottom, just like it has a quarter 20 on the phone mount, which you have one on the bottom, one here, and then you have a cold shoe mount right here. And I would use this for lighter setups, and I actually use this for other things around the house as just a phone holder, pro tip right there. And if I didn't mention, this was made by Yulanzi too. Again, full transparency, this is a Yulanzi mount, their SEO2, and this was sent out to me. And this one is made by Small Rig, and I bought this one myself. A few little differences and a few similarities. These both have suction cups, which use a similar style pump. So you would go ahead, if you can see that white line, pump it down till that's under it. Same thing for this one, pump it down till that red line's in it. So we're gonna start with the Yulanzi one. It's a uh, a lot bigger suction cup down here. So you want to mount this onto a clean flat surface and it's really gotta be pretty flat. I've noticed for this one, putting it on curved surfaces, it doesn't want to attach as easily. Once you do have it attached, it'll hold, but it's kind of hard to do that sometimes. You'll get this needle rail, which you'll go ahead and screw on. And it comes with this adjustable arm here, which has the needle style grip on one side and a quarter 20 on the other. This is a super solid setup because it is so robust and heavy duty. I would be comfortable using this with my mirrorless camera setup. So that's like my R6 and my RF glass. Or of course, if you go down pocket three, of course, or different action cams like my GoPro. Now, the other one I have here is a little bit smaller. This is the small rig. You have a NATO rail here, which is permanently affixed. That's gonna be different from the Yolanzi one, which you bolt on yourself. The base of this is gonna be a little bit smaller. I think this is about four inches and the Yolanzi is about six inches, give or take. The arm's gonna be a similar style, just small rigs version. You have the native style clamp on the bottom with the quarter 20 up top. What I really like about this one, it does come with a cover to keep that bottom clean. And the Yulanzi one does come with a bag, but I do like having this because I can just go ahead and throw this into my bag instead of throwing it into a bag and then into another bag. For this one, I've had better luck with on slightly curved surfaces like doors, my hood. Now for this one, I probably would be about the same with the weight limit. For me, I've done speeds up to about 60 miles an hour with 
with this one and had no issues. So we've blown past that two minute mark, but I do want to add one more thing. This is a small rig magic arm. You can use this to get a lot of different creative angles, say attaching it to your headrest or those little handle grips you have inside your car. Definitely a tool that I would keep in my back pocket. Overall, I do think a lot of these have different purposes. If I had to choose just a few of them, I know for action cameras, I probably would go with a magnetic one just because for my vehicle, it's pretty much all metal and I can stick it wherever I want and not have to worry about that falling off. You could also go with a suction cup if you are going with it and you're gonna be using different style cameras. If you are running say like a 360 with a giant pole, you probably wanna go with one of the three or four arm suction cup ones because just because that's basically gonna almost 100% hold it onto your vehicle. But for basic shots outside the vehicle or trying to get shots of you inside the vehicle, running a suction cup like this would be great. For me right now, my go-to one is gonna be this one just because it is small, compact, and it will work on a lot more surfaces than I've been able to get the Elanzi one. But the Elanzi one is a little bit more heavy duty and will allow you to carry a little bit more weight. Two Minute Tuesday, which is way past the Two Minute Tuesday. If you have any questions or comments about any of these products, let me know in the comments section below. And yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.